Good afternoon and welcome to another Eunice MQL Minute. My name is John Wiegerchess and I'm here with Eunice Larry Tilma. How are you doing, John? Good. And we're here to discuss the Eunice MQL systems with multiple outputs. Larry, I see that you brought a few systems with you today. Can you explain a little bit how each one of them works? Sure, John. Um, right here we have our standard two nozzle cool lubricator. And if we, uh, if we open the door here, we're going to see that we've got uh, two pumps feeding the two nozzles. We have one solenoid valve, which is controlling the on off air to operate the system itself. Now, we have different voltages available of the solenoid valve. We have 24 volt AC, 24 volt DC, 110, and 220 VAC. And those are some of the options for electrically controlling the air signal to operate the cool lubricator. Now in addition, we have uh, an air pilot valve which would take the place of this so that it runs off an air signal and no electricity would be required. Well, Larry, you've told us a little bit about the solenoid valves and the different uh, voltages that can be used um, when operating the system. Can you tell us a little bit about the pump stack? Yep, sure can, John. Uh, you'll see the pump stack here for the two nozzle system uh, includes the top manifold block with the pulse generator with its, with its frequency adjustment, and then we have the two pumps below it. And these pumps have the air adjustment, as you'll see here, and then the pump stroke adjustment. Those are the, this right here is referred to as the pump stack. Now, with the pump stack, Larry, uh, do they have to pump at the same time, or can they pump independent of each other? Well, that's a great question, John. We brought another unit here to sh see the, uh, the difference. John, could you open that unit for me? Sure. Now you'll see in this system we have a pump stack, but it looks different than the one we just looked at. This pump stack has two independent pumps on it, each controlled by its own pulse generator. It has its own adjustment still for the pump stroke and for the air adjustment, but you'll see there's two solenoid valves here feeding air to each individual pump stack separately. So Larry, some of the, uh, sometimes the outputs can fire all at the same time, and sometimes they can fire independently. That's correct. Um, if we go back to this first unit, John, this is what we call a common actuation. Common pumps actuated by one valve, and over here in the, in the two solenoid unit, we have what we call independent actuation. Again, where we have one solenoid valve controlling the upper pump stack and the lower solenoid valve controlling the lower pump stack, therefore the independent versus the common actuation. So Larry, it sounds like from what you've told us today, the customer really just needs to let you know whether it's going to be a common actuation or independent actuation. That's right, John. And just for an example, uh, for our viewers, we can do up to 16 commonly actuated outputs or nozzles. And on the independent actuation, if we're doing all single outputs, independently actuated, we could do about nine of those in a common enclosure. Uh, and we also do some combination systems that use common and independent actuations in the same unit. So it can be a grouping of, of two pumps and then one, or two and one and three, any combination. That wraps it up for today. If you have any more questions about how we actuate cool lubricator or other nozzles, you can give us a call at 800-253-5462 or you can explore further on our website. Uh, we have a new configurator feature which explains some of this in detail. You can go to our website, unis.com slash config. That's U-N-I-S-T dot com slash C-O-N-F-I-G. We'll see you next time. Thanks, John. Thanks, Larry.